Is your kickstand a little too short? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Is your kickstand a little too short, making your bike hard to park? Or is the contact area of your kickstand too small, making it sink in loose sand and gravel? Or does your kickstand look like a camel toe, threatening your... <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. What? <laughs> Come on. Or does your kickstand look like camel toe, thus threatening your masculinity? <laughs> if your ADV bike suffers from any of these three problems, stay tuned to find out how you can, for quick and cheap, fix your existing kickstand to alleviate all three of the problems and forever improve your life immeasurably. Здравей, добродошли, bon dia, bem-vindos, buenos dias, bienvenidos, grüzi und willkommen. Greetings riders, Nick here with Pegasus Motorcycle Tours and Consulting. In this tutorial, I'd like to teach you how to use your existing kickstand to extend it a little bit, thus making your bike a little more vertical and stable, and also increasing the contact patch so when you park it in loose sand and dirt, uh, that it, you know, is a little more secure. For about 30 minutes of your time and $10 worth of equipment, you can do this with the existing equipment that you already have on. You don't have to buy anything new and therefore you can save some money as well. So let's begin. Now we are going to be working on my 2013 BMW G650 GS Sertão, formerly known as the Dakar. This is the more dirt oriented version of the BMW 650 ADV Touring line, which they have unfortunately discontinued. As you can see, it really leans over quite a bit on the left side because the motorcycle was raised from the standard F650 GS, but the same kickstand was left on. So the motorcycle has a tendency to want to fall over, especially in mildly sloping ground or with any weight in the left side case. I do a full review of both of these motorcycles as well as other bikes in the 650 ADV Touring category, such as the DR650 by Suzuki, the Kawasaki KLR650, KTM SXC 625, Honda XR 650L, as well as the BMW G 650X Challenge. So be sure to check those videos out. This tutorial will teach you how to extend the length and expand the surface area of the stock kickstand with minimal investment of time and money. What you can do is purchase a hockey puck and bolt it to the bottom of the existing kickstand. Doing so provides you with the two benefits mentioned already. One, it raises the bike so that it no longer wants to tip over so easily. And two, and very crucially so, it increases the contact area of the kickstand and ground so that the bike is more stable in loose dirt and sand, which is a very common use in ADV bikes. All right, so let's begin. The first step is to purchase what you need. Most sporting goods stores will have a hockey puck. Not the easiest thing to find in San Diego County, believe it or not. Try to purchase an official NHL hockey puck since this guarantees the highest level of rubber and compound quality. The puck obviously needs to be very solid and durable. Get an inch and a quarter grade 8 bolts. Grade 8 is a bit stronger than the grade 5. The tensile strength is higher as well. They are more resistant to strain and be sure to get ones that will not rust. Nowadays these bolts come with a pinched nut which acts as a locking system thus eliminating the need for the nylon or metal washers. And I still suggest using a dab of thread locker, but more on that to come. What you want to make sure though is that whatever puck you intend on installing allows for enough clearance between it and the rear tire. Test this by adding weight to the rear suspension, making sure it sinks as deep as possible and that the tire can still clear the puck. Be sure also to consider any future changes in tires you intend to make, such as knobbier tires that might require more clearance. Put a piece of wood underneath the puck and start drilling. If your kickstand is of a particularly hard metal surface, something you will know immediately as you start drilling, it's a good idea to dab a little bit of oil or even dish detergent to help with some of the friction heat to your drill bit. This extends the life of the drill bit. Make a center punch with the appropriate center punch tool or a large nail even to prevent the drill bit from sliding around. It was quite easy to drill a hole through this particular kickstand. 
now what you're going to want to do is paint the underside of the kickstand to prevent rust from forming between it and the puck. Be sure to cover all parts of the motorcycle to prevent from overspray and also make sure to hit it from many different angles to cover all surfaces of the kickstand and even inside the holes that you just created. To make your access even easier, you can lean the bike over on a wall if you do not have a center stand. Leaning the bike on the right side handlebar and will be easier, obviously, since the kickstand is on the left. Just be sure to put the bike in gear and place a strap activating your front brake to prevent the bike from creeping forward and potentially falling over. I always use a pad or a rag between the bar end weights and the wall, which prevents scratches that can later result in rust. This is obviously something you're going to want to avoid. Use 5 8 drill bit to create the three holes on the bottom of the puck about midway. This size drill offers you the ability to recess the nut into the puck, thus giving you a smooth, grippy surface. This is a wooden drill bit and it has no trouble at all drilling into the puck. This size also allows you to place a socket around the bolt when tightening it later. Drill just far enough to hide the nut in completely, about halfway. The bolts I use are purposefully a tad bit longer, by about a millimeter or two, that's about an eighth of an inch, because I wanted them to stick out just a little so that they could actively grip onto the surface. Careful though not to use bolts that are too long because then the contact surface are only the tips of these three bolts and they can also bend and break more easily. Be aware also that they will scratch any surface they rest on. So if you park on finished flooring, for example, like I do, it might be a problem. Drill one hole and place the puck onto the kickstand with the bolt through it, hand tight so that it can hold the puck in place for the next two holes. When tightening the bolts, be sure to use thread locker. Red is more permanent than blue, regardless of brand. Loctite is the more well-known brand, but any will do. Hand tighten all three bolts first, and then go ahead and crank them down consecutively with the socket and wrench. There aren't really any rules regarding the torque here, so just kind of follow your intuition as for how hard to tighten these the the grade 8 bolts are really quite strong and the end result is a more stable bike with a longer kickstand with better traction in loose dirt and sand it all cost me around 10 bucks in parts and half an hour in labor and i actually enjoyed it i also enjoyed the ability to utilize my existing kickstand to improve its functionality all that's left to do now is to give a like to this video if you found it useful and valuable. Subscribe to the channel in order to help keep us independent and go out for a ride, test out your new improved kickstand. Thank you for watching. I hope that tutorial was informative and somewhat entertaining. I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you think and if you have any other ways to improve the kickstand. In an upcoming video, I'd like to compile all the different ways that you can utilize your kickstand for many other things. Like I say, for ADV touring and the ADV lifestyle, everything that you carry on the bike has to have at least two uses, two purposes, and the kickstand is no exception. So stay tuned for that. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe, wear a mask, protect yourself, protect your family until this thing's over. Go ride, and until next time, Nick, I'm out.